Hi folks, Richard Smith here. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get that thumb with its own brain, or at least with its own part of your brain. A little bit of thumb independence. I know there's some finger pickers out there who have trouble um, with their fingers and their thumb getting that independence going. Um, the tendency is to wanna to pinch instead of play on the beat and on the offbeat, I'll explain that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through a series of steps that will get your thumb independent. It'll get to where your thumb becomes independent. So I'm gonna take you from something very, very basic and very, very simple, and then I'll slowly build on that until you get to where your coordination isn't quite there yet, and then we'll get you over the hump. At least that's my goal. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a 4-4 beat with our thumb. Very, very simple, slow 4-4 beat. Something very simple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just count that with me and play that with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far, so good. Okay, next step, we're gonna play a melody note. We'll call it a melody note with our index finger on the top string, just on beat one. Now, remember to keep this beat going, all four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Melody note, we'll call it, on beat one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Just keep repeating that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far, so good. Now we can put that melody note on any one of those beats. We can put it on beat two, beat three, or beat four. Let's put it on beat three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, this just plays all four beats doesn't play any more than four, doesn't play any less than four. It's on every beat. This is playing the beat that you choose. One, two, three, four. On beat two now. One, two, three, four. So far, so good. So right now, we're only pinching on one of those beats. The trick is now to pinch on, well, to, to play the melody note in between one of those beats. So we have eight options. We can play on the beat or off the beat. That gives us one and two and three and four and we got eight options that's on the beat or off the beat so let's play a four four with our thumb but what we're going to do is going to play uh we're going to play on beat two and the end after beat three with our melody notes so this gives us this one two three and four one two three Four. Now remember the end is just the melody note, just that top string with our index finger. For now, this just plays 4-4. Four, four. Don't make the mistake of doing this, which I've seen people do. They'll go one, two, three, and four. And you don't want to be pinching on the end. Don't do that. That is what you're trying to unlearn. Ever since we're kids, since we're born, we reach for things, we grab for things like this. So this natural tendency to grab is the problem. Instead, We don't usually need this motion. In fact, think of a time when you do this. You don't ever do this. You never do this. You only do this. So we're trying to get rid of this and we're trying to go one, two, three, and four. A way to help yourself get rid of that motion is to accent when you're playing on or off the beat. So one, pinch, three, and four. So you move your arm to kind of Help yourself remember to when is on and off the beat. So far, so good? I hope so. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll skip forward quickly. Basically, what we've got is a matrix. We're playing on or off the beat. So we could play beats one and two, and then play the and after beat three. So we could get one, two, three, and four. Or we can play beat two and three and the and after beat four, which would give us this. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. So, so the thing is just to remember when you're supposed to be playing on or off the beat. We could play the end before beat one, and we could play beats three, and just beat three. Okay, so we go, so, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Okay, so all we're doing, we could actually play on and off of every beat, so we could do this. playing 
in between. So the idea is to be able to play this constantly and this whenever you want. Okay, this is just a start. Okay, let's play a chord now. Let's get more interesting. And let's start to play with this. And let's start to play a, a pattern here. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So we're going to play our melody notes on one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. We'll slow it right down. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Let's reverse that. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, now we're going to start to bring in our other fingers. Let's uh, be more like a classical guitar player, a little bit more like that, where we're going to assign our ring finger to the index. Uh, sorry, we're going to assign our ring finger to the first string, our middle finger to the second string, our index finger to the third string. So... Slow that right down if you're having a problem with that. One, two, and three, and four. 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 Okay, so far so good. So now what we're going to do, instead of taking this and playing on all four beats, one, two, three, four, what we're going to do is going to play beats two and four on the fourth string. Let's start with a real simple uh, right hand first. We're going to play what we played to start with. So we're going to back up a little bit on the melody. So one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So this is on one and three. This is two and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Now we're going to get back with the right hand, that pattern we were playing just now. Maybe we can just do this with the index finger or all three fingers. Maybe just the index. Merle Travis style or all three. The more options you have, the more you train yourself to do, the more options you have. Okay, we're almost there. What we're going to do now, we're going to play beat three on the fifth string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Of course, this pattern... change that up. We want to be able to play that on or off of any beat, so we get this. We can start actually adding other fingers to make it more exciting. Check this out. You know, I mean, you can see where I'm going with this. But there we have uh, the thumb picking, the art of thumb picking. It, oh, it's really, it just comes down to the coordination, making sure that you slow every, uh, every part down to that. So you, every time you come to something that you're finding difficult to do, uh, something that your right hand just won't do, you, you can't make it do it, it's not doing it in tempo, it's not doing it in time. So slow it right down and be very consciously aware of what your right hand is doing or what it isn't doing. That's the, the half the battle, is finding out where the problem is. And I can guarantee you the problem is gonna be wanting to do this instead of, instead of this, so. There we 
go. And from there, you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Uh, eventually it will click in there and you'll have independence between the thumb and the fingers. Thanks for watching.